how do I get all this camera gear on a plane? And how do I take it on safari? Let me show you. Hey folks, welcome back to my channel. And I hope you guys enjoyed the previous video that I did about my camera gear. So I'll put a link to my earlier video in the description or up here. So you guys could click that. If you haven't seen that video, have a look at that. That's all the gear that I carry. And this is how I apportion my gear when I go on an international flight or even a domestic flight. And then how I transition from uh, carrying my gear uh, for the purpose of travel to carrying it on safari. But I now wanted to show you how I carry my gear uh, on flights because that was one of the questions that a lot of people wrote back asking, you know, what is it that you take on the flight with you as carry-on luggage and what do you check in? This is a think tank airport international uh, version 2.0. There is a newer version out, a uh, version 3. Uh, so this is the 2.0. And this is basically a trolley, a strolley, a stroller, whatever you want to call it. And uh, this is the backpack version of the same bag. This is the Think Tank Airport Accelerator. So this is what I used to use before. Um, I still use it, but not for my international travel now. For my international travel, this is what I use. And all my gear fits in it. I still have this bag. I use it for um, local tours when I've got to carry my my gear around where I can't obviously drag this. This is meant to be dragged at airports. Right? So the question that a lot of you people asked was about how do I carry stuff in this bag? Why do I use this? And um, how does my stuff go into this? So first thing I'll do is I'll show you what my gear setup is in this bag. So this is where all of the stuff like my extra SD cards, uh, batteries, GoPro batteries, um, other paraphernalia goes. Now the main stuff that I carry is obviously two camera bodies, my D5, my D500, that's with a battery grip. That's my uh, Nikkor 500mm F4 and so these are just lens hoods. I keep them in this bag because it's easier to carry. That's my 1680 a wide angle lens. That's my Tokina 1116 ultra wide angle lens. What also goes into this bag is my other very important lens, my Nikkor 70-200 f 2.8 so as you can see this is all my glass okay so none of this stuff goes into check-in this is carry-on luggage so this is how it goes in i put it in there and the lens hoods go in there as well and they also act as spacers that's a rain cover that comes with the bag and the other thing that i carry in here but i don't get to use it as often is my teleconverter and um, sign of the times so that was my um, N95 mask that I used uh, while traveling on my last tour of Tanzania got back just a day before th uh, things got pretty serious here in India so I had this with me in case I needed it and other stuff like my um, battery for my D5. So you can't check your batteries in. They've got to be in carry on with you. So as you can see, all of this stuff fits in here pretty neatly. And it's the same configuration that I use in that backpack. right? So this is how my gear goes in.
this bag, as I mentioned before, is virtually the same as that. I'll show you the interiors. And so that's where my 500 mm goes. My 7200 in here, sorry, my 7200 in here, two wide angles in here, camera body A, camera body B, accessories, paraphernalia, other stuff, medicines, cleaners, wipes, anything else that you need goes in here. So the the beauty of this bag is I carry, I can carry my laptop with this as well because this is fairly deep, right? So my laptop could go under this bag, but I stopped carrying this for international flights because one, it's pretty heavy. So when you're trying to especially make uh, connecting flights and you try to move fast, this is putting a lot of stress on your back, number one. So in the long run, it's not good for your back. Number two, is that when you walk up to a check-in counter, this is on your back. And no matter how light you might try to make it appear, it's, it's in the eye line of the people who are checking you in. And if they see a big bag like that on your back, and if you're slightly stooped, they're immediately going to ask to check it. So this is one of the reasons why, on the advice of one of my friends, I switched out from uh, carrying a camera backpack like that to a stroller, strolley, whatever you want to call it. Like I said, when I, I, I use, still keep this bag when I do local trips. Uh, if I go down um, to the backwaters here in Chennai, or if I go to my hide or places like that, I can't drag this through the mud. That's when I carry this gear. Uh, obviously, no safari jeeps, so you're walking. That's when this comes in handy. But the bag is rated for international uh, air travel as cabin baggage. Now that refers to the dimensions of the bag, not the weight. So the weight allowance is seven kilos. Maybe if you're business class, it could be 10 kilos. This all up is about almost 17 kilos, right? It's about 15 to 17 kilos. So obviously it's not uh, rated for uh, it's not going to be allowed as check-in luggage. So usually what happens is that, that's the other reason why I prefer to drag this. When you drag it and you walk up to a check-in counter, this is out of sight. If you're traveling with friends, you can just leave the bag with them, walk up to the counter with just a backpack, check-in, walk back, take your trolley and walk away. Sometimes though, airlines have seen and they have asked to weigh the bag. When they weigh the bag, the first thing that they're going to say is, there's no way we are going to allow you to carry this as carry-on luggage. And that's when I'm going to have to say, please check what I'm carrying. It's cameras, it's lenses. I cannot afford to check it in. If they're still insistent, I ask to speak to a supervisor, or usually they will bring a supervisor in. And the supervisors generally understand, and they will say, okay, it's fine, you can carry it. As a last resort, I will say, if you're going to check this bag in, I need it in writing that you will replace any of the cameras or gear here that's damaged, which is usually running into a few lakhs of rupees or a few, several thousand dollars. That's when the airline will draw the line and say, okay, don't worry, carry your bag. So it's worked so far, fingers crossed, it's gonna work again in the future. However, this backpack is what I would carry my laptop in um, and my iPad, uh, my uh, gimbal, which I'm shooting with right now at the moment, uh, the Gion Smooth 4, and uh, a book, anything else like that. So where this bag comes in handy is when I'm on safari, I don't carry this with me. I carry my gear with me, but not the bag itself because it's too bulky. So what I do is I would take my, my camera and lens out, so the first thing that I would do is obviously um, assemble my gear. When, so this is going to be in one hand. So that's in one hand. So my 7200 mounted on my D500 is in the other hand. 
So this is what I literally carry in both hands while walking to my vehicle, uh, whether it's uh, one of the Jeeps on safari in, in Kabini uh, or Bandhavgarh or Rantambur in India, or if it's uh, in the Serengeti or the Masai Mara in Africa. So what goes into this is my wide angle lens. Now anyone looking at this bag would say, but hang on, this is not a padded bag. It's not. What I have here is a padded insert. So this is fairly deep, fairly well padded. And you can buy this on Amazon, which is why I bought this. So you can put that in and your wide angle lenses can go on there. A pair of binoculars can go on there. Flap down, wide angle lens, um, ultra wide angle lens, GoPro, gimbal, binoculars, uh, a Joby gorilla pod. Usually I put a monopod out here and I strap it up in case I need it. My poncho, mobile phone, wallet, anything else. All of that kind of stuff. The um, other stuff would be lens pen, lens cleaners, cables, uh, medicine kit. All kinds of stuff like that it goes into this stuff that you would need when you're on safari. Right? Uh, sunglasses. That's it. And that, that's how I carry my gear on safaris. Right? So when I come back and I'm going to travel again, basically the stuff comes out, disassembled, and goes back into the bag. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. And uh, I look forward to seeing you guys in the next one. Until then, guys, please stay home. Please stay safe. And may the focus be with you.